Greensboro was inspired by Clara Looper and by 13 young people who said, this isn't okay. And when somebody said, sit down, that's okay, it's just how it is, they said no. And Clara listened. And not only did she listen, she empowered those young people and then brought a whole community. Because it wasn't just one sit-in, it wasn't just one store. It started a movement over the course of several years that integrated place after place in Oklahoma City that began to spread roots through the rest of this part of the country that inspired the Greensboro sit-ins, that inspired so many others, and, and was a critical part of building the civil rights movement that we know of today. Motion at the NACP Youth Council meeting that we would go downtown and we would sit until they would serve us. Little did I know it's gonna take that long. <laughs> but we went downtown and we sat and we sat and we sat until the walls of segregation started coming down. But I tell you this afternoon, I'm so glad that the students here in Oklahoma City yes. sat down yes. because it caused other students throughout the United States to stand up against injustice. Some of us were not even, even in the ninth grade, but we were out on a mission. And I'm so glad that I'm here today because I understand that these other threads to put this country together right. and to put Oklahoma together. If we had not done what we've done in different avenues, we would not be able to thread this democracy.